See, I love the marshmallows. But if you add some berries to this. Okay, but you keep bringing up the berries. There's no berries. You can find some, throw it in there. That's all you need. <laughs> Andy Katz here for BTN. We are doing brackets. It is our cereal edition. I'm joined by Andre Wesson from Ohio State. And Andre, there were some upsets early. I mean, way back in the first round, Cocoa Puffs bounced out by Fruity Pebbles. Uh, there are some situations here where I think you were a little surprised that some cereals were not here in the Elite Eight. Who surprised you they weren't even listed? Cocoa Puffs for sure. I mean, that's, that's my go-to in the morning, so I'm a little hurt, but it's cool. Like I said, Fruity Pebbles pulled the upset on Cocoa Puffs early in the tournament. So this is what we're dealing with here. We're going to advance our teams to the national championship game of the cereal bracket for Andre. Let's start up here in the left. This is not just any ordinary Wheaties. This is the Uncle Drew Wheaties edition. Again, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Who do you have advancing? Wheaties, that's a legendary cereal right there, but Cinnamon Toast Crunch for sure. Hard to have more than one bowl of this because certainly, I mean, that's a little bit of a heavier feeling. All right, we go with the Frosted Flakes and the Fruity Pebbles. As I told you, not on the board. Fruity Pebbles with an upset over Cocoa Puffs early on. Who do you like? I will go with Fruity Pebbles, but they upset at Cocoa Puffs. And if you leave it in, this, in the milk too long, it's not for you, so I gotta go with Frosted Flakes. All right, so we're going with Frosted Flakes versus Cinnamon Toast Crunch in one of our national semifinals. On your side, Lucky Charms. Now, some people will only eat the charms. Where do you stand on that? You see, that I'm the same way. I'm the same way. It's kind of the same cereal to me, but the marshmallows. That's what's gonna advance, is the marshmallows over the Honey Nut Cheerios. All right. Captain Crunch, Apple Jacks, once again, very similar kinds of cereals, very sweet tasting. Which one's gonna advance for you? See, if this had the berries, it's a for sure. So I'm kinda, it's in between, but I don't really mess with Apple Jacks. So we gotta, we gotta go with Captain Crunch. All right, so you're going with Captain Crunch versus Lucky Charms. Cinnamon Toast Crunch versus Frosted Flakes. Um, I'll be shocked if you go with Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but I don't know where you're going here. Who's advancing to the championship? That's a tough word. Because of my man Danny, I gotta go cinnamon. What? Why is that? We made Danny. He loves him some cinnamon toast crunch, so I'm gonna go cinnamon toast crunch. Would you agree though that cinnamon toast crunch is the kind of cereal you can eat at night, really almost like a meal versus necessarily at the beginning of the day? Yeah, no. Nah, that's this is an any time of day cereal right here. Any time of day, that's a dessert really. <laughs> All right, so we got cinnamon toast crunch advancing to the championship of our cereal bracket. Uh, this, I think I know where I would go here. Lucky Charms versus Captain Crunch. Uh, it's a little, see, I love the marshmallows, but if you add some berries to this. Okay, but you keep bringing up the berries. There's no berries. You can find some, throw it in there. That's all you need. <laughs> all right, so we're adding berries, apparently, to advance Captain Crunch. Uh, I mean, this is totally old school, beating Lucky Charms. All right, now we have this national championship. Cinnamon Toast Crunch versus Captain Crunch. I want to remind everyone that his number one choice, Cocoa Puffs, not even on the board. They got bounced. So we've got pretty much two sleepers here, I would argue, in the championship. Who are you going with? Let's see. This had berries. <laughs> There's no berries. It had berries, though. Got to go with cinnamon. All right, so for the everyday meal, you're going with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I would say this is comparable to like an NC State 1983 upset. That's how much I'm shocked by you put, putting Cinnamon Toast Crunch right there. That's a major upset. <laughs> and for that, you have to sign this board because you own this. This is Andre Wesson's call. If he can't have Cocoa Puffs, he's going with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And that's a wrap on our big brackets, the cereal edition.